Hey, it's Tommy, uh, doing my last redo video. First time I did a video on this truck, uh, I tried to hold the camera, do close-ups all at the same time, it came out real shaky, not too good. So, figured one more time, try to make it better. Uh, this particular truck is my 1987 vintage Claude Buster, uh, first year released. Um, a couple of ways you can see that is, on the front grill, instead of saying 4x4x4, four by four by four, it actually has a Chevy symbol, like that, and it'll say Chevrolet on the tailgate, like that. Also on the truck, it'll have red shocks, red bumpers, and red suspension plastics on the bottom. I currently removed the front red bumper because I put the CPE front steering links and front servo mount on it. And that's because I'm going to be doing a build on this truck, so this video is kind of a pre-build video, the before video, so I can do an after video to see what I've done to it. So far, I did a complete paint strip down and repainted the body. Uh, I did the matte black, also did some vinyls on the side, the grenade, the pinstripes. Um, also painted a lot of the plastics, the roll bar the suspension that is silver, and the battery holder. I also did bed liner in the truck bed here. Uh, thought that came out kind of neat. Um, it's kind of like what you would see on like a full-size truck, so I get, thought it gave it kind of like a nice scale look. Uh, just something different. The truck as it sits is basically stock. Um, I put a Axial ESC in it, and it has the original stock silver cans in it, that were in the kit from 1987 and they still run which is actually pretty impressive of course the truck runs full ball bearings and I run a spectrum uh, controller in it I always have good luck with spectrum so I tend to run those quite often um, what I'm going to be doing with the truck is a Cladzilla 2 chassis upgrade um, I'm going to be doing some uh, RC monster truck uh, racing here in the near future so I wanted to kind of keep that retro feel with the Clodzilla 2 chassis, but make it competitive. Um, the Clodzilla 2 still has that like nice Clodbuster stance, uh, but it gives a lot more articulation, a lot more performance. Um, as far as the servo goes, I'm running a Spectrum servo on here, but that'll be a part of the upgrade as well. This thing will completely be a different truck by the time I'm finished. Um, so this is basically how the Clodbuster sits currently. Uh, hopefully I can do that build here in the near future, uh, depending how fast the parts get here and how fast I can get it together. Uh, I'm pretty anxious to get that video up, so I hope you tune in to see that. Uh, until next time, we'll see ya.